Hello, this is the Lord's Legion yet again with a brand new video, and today I want to try something a little different. And allow me to introduce to you all, an antecedent commentary. So what is an antecedent commentary, you may ask? Well, here I'm going to go all the way back to the past to around, I don't know, 3-4 years ago, and I'm going to take the literal piss out of myself, and do a commentary and just tear myself to shreds. And today I've got this top 10 list I did back in 2012, called the Top 10 Horror Movie Murderers, which is the second edition. And yes, the commentary community has been long extinct, but you know what? Considering I'm taking the piss out of one of my older videos, why not use an old format that is pretty much extinct and then just bring it into a completely fresh take and just have a bit of fun with it? So let's get on to the actual commentary, shall we? What's up? It's Mr. Boomer here yet again. God damn, my fake accent is so fake. And now for my Halloween special. And as you can see, the mic is pretty terrible. Now I can't remember if I was using my old laptop or I was using a headset, but either way you could just tell it was really crap and you could hear the background of whatever was going on. So already we're in quite a bad start. And which is, of course, the top 10 horror movie murderers. I did it in the past, but I feel like it's completely outdated. And in city, as outdated as this video, comment right about here. So I decided to completely do it again, but with a new take on it, which is, of course, doing it vocally. And it's not just like another remastered. If any of you were wondering what a remastered was, Allow me to explain, it was just essentially just a redo of a video I did ages ago, but honestly, you're not really missing much, so I wouldn't recommend you watching them. My opinion changed very slightly over the course of almost a year now, so let's just begin. Aren't we all just curious on how my 14 year old self thinks about all this crap? Oh yeah, I was 14 at the time of this video. Fun fact for you all. This old username does not half remind me of this before puberty trend on Facebook. That Mephilus theme is probably the only redeeming quality in this video. If you think about it, a leprechaun being a killer is a stupid idea. And if you think about it, having this horrendous audio and just putting it onto a video is also a stupid idea. But proceed. But when it comes to this leprechaun, it actually works. He looks menacing, he looks like a little creep and he's just funny. So he's just funny because he's menacing and a little creep? Yeah, that seems legit. I think he's low on the list because I, I've only really seen the first Leprechaun film and that was pretty much it, so... I'll give credit where credit is due. The first Leprechaun film is the only decent one I've heard, so yeah, that's kind of a lucky escape. Yeah, he would have been high if I if I seen more of his films, so yeah. Never fun. Gotta say, that was the most awkward eight seconds of my life. Don't even ask why I timed that. Pinhead. Pinhead. <laughs> That laugh was so fake it actually gives Rocket Raccoon a run for his money. Stupid name aside though, Pinhead is a pretty deadly person, as far as I know. I like his appearance in particular. Messing about with your mic is already a dumb idea. And he's low on the list because... Because uh, my... Uh, because my memories of them is pretty blurry. Another tip. 
If you are unable to do your videos unscripted, then it's best to do videos with a script. And if you're able to like not use a script, then good for you. But in terms of wanting to start with your videos, a script is always the best way to go. Look, mate, I, I, I remember seeing him one of the, one of the Hellraiser movies with him in it, but I, I can just barely remember anything, so... Yeah. Well, perhaps Pinhead isn't worthy of being on your list if you don't remember shit. God, I was so fucking stupid back then. Leatherface is a pretty iconic fi killer. Was I trying to be a chicken there? Frick, 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 killer! Lay a little blood for me. And is one of the most, one of the most best of its kind, as far as many people would say. And he's pretty iconic because of his messed up face, which is actually his mask, and of course his chainsaw, which he, what he kills with. It is pretty important to get rid of all the long pauses. That way, people don't get as bored and uninterested. And yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And... Yeah, he's just a deadly foe. Again, do a script. However, if you don't want to do a script, and I can totally understand this, but the best thing to do if you don't want to do a script is bullet point your points so that you know exactly what you're saying and then you can just kind of improvise through it. And iconic as well, so... Yeah, Leatherface is pretty cool and that's why it's on the this is the perfect example on how to not make a video. If you want your video to be good, then I suggest you actually watch it a few times before you see a simple problem like getting your audio cut halfway through. I'll admit, a doll murderer is actually pretty crazy. I think I was meant to say uncreative, however if that was not the case, then this just proves how stupid I was back then. And, and Chucky does it, his job very well, uh, he's low on the list because in more, the more films he's in, the dumber he seems to be. I mean. Just watched the Nostalgia Critics Child's Play movie reviews and you'll get a picture, okay? Yeah, go watch someone else's video so I don't have to describe why Chucky is just a stupid twat. He is planned to become even more stupid than stupider by the minute. In, well, by every film to be more exact. But the first one's okay, but after that it comes more lazier, lazier, lazier. This background noise is so annoying and disorientating. So yeah, Chucky's on the list. Number 7. My younger self does not half sound bored in this video. His face is a pretty cool murderer. Not only the fact that he's iconic, but he but well, he's in more, one of the more of the funnier one categories, alongside Leprechaun and Chucky. What's the matter, young self? Tongue tied? And the good thing about it is, it, it's quite unique how it rings people up and then uh, then strikes them at anywhere. But the fact that his his mask is cool, and there's always more than one, even going as far as to having a female ghost face. According to my younger self, having a female killer automatically makes you cooler. I don't know if I sound desperate back then. Like in the fourth film. Oh, spoiler. Then again, it's ne nearly two years old, so who cares? I know who cares. The people who actually want to watch the film but haven't seen it yet. And also, what the fuck was I doing? It just sounded like I was doing like a line of cocaine or some shit. Naughty 14 year old self. Oh, I 
God damn it. This is exactly how to not do a character impression. Wink wink. That is totally not how to do Jigsaw. Nudge nudge. Anyway, Jigsaw is a brilliant villain. Because he's a mastermind. He sets a lot of traps. So technically, he's not exactly a murderer. But regardless, he still has caused the murder because he's the one that planned them. But as opposed to just being a trapper, really. And is... And the way he speaks, it just sounds so cool. My name is Jigsaw. I wanna play a game. You must get the key by decapitating yourself. This is more like the Chris Nolan Batman, if you ask me. Okay, that one will be a bit flawed, but anyway, regardless, Jigsaw... Jigsaw rules, okay? And yet, I refuse to explain Jigsaw's most unique thing about himself. The fact that he has a very unique motive about why he does what he does, which is sort of not many murderers actually have. Out of all the murderers I've forgotten on my original list, Hannibal Lecter is the only one that I've ever regretted on leaving out. Hooray! My younger self has finally got his dignity! Give him a round of applause, children! Give him a round of applause! Because, for one thing, he's, he's so cool. He, he's a cannibal, obviously. Dude, you don't sound smart if you're gonna say, obviously he's a cannibal. And I like the way he goes... No comment. Okay, maybe that's not so accurate, but regardless, he's a he's a great villain, and even though he makes a few minutes of Science of the Lamps, he's still amazing anyway. Hate to beat up a dead horse, but this is the perfect example on as to why you should either bullet point or do a script. So, yeah, Amber Lecter, real. And the delivery of what you say is just... Shit. Michael Myers rules. Take a shot on every time I ever say rules in this video. Guaranteed to be fucked after this. Because his kills are unique, especially in the second one. Uh, his mask is very spooky-like. Who even says spooky at this day and age? Especially back in 2012. And he, he... Get on with it! It's just cool, alright? As, but, however, he, the, on the remake, I, I don't really like Michael Myers on the remake, but... But he, he still had some cool kills in the film, but I don't really like his how they gave him a backstory. So don't establish the remakes and just focus on the originals. But the best thing in the old backstory, he's just evil. He didn't need any backstory to speak of. And my younger self is doing yet another line? Jesus Christ. When you think of murderers in in most medias, especially in films, Freddy Krueger is probably one of the first people have in mind. Can't wait to hear your explanations, little me. Because of his uniqueness. Because not only the fact that his weapon is unique, which is his iconic knife claws, I'm pretty sure he uses just one, and they're not knife claws, they're just a glove. But the fact that that he has a good hat, a, a very recognisable t-shirt. And who would have thought that I was such a fashion prodigy? I sure as hell didn't. A melted face, and a great personality, unlike most of the other ones we've seen. Which are the more known ones. When you're trying to make a point, but you just can't think of anything. Freddy speaks, 
as well as having a personality. So, so that's why Freddy Krueger is mainly on the list because he's quite unique compared to everyone else. I have no memories on what I was doing behind the scenes, and honestly, I don't even want to know. The big, indestructible, tough, bulked, zombie-like creature, human, well he's technically a deformed human, but oh, anyway. Zombie, human, deformed, human, demon, guy, actor, make up your damn minds. Jason is the best murderer, probably one of the best in media, as well as the best movie murderers. Great job, Mini-Me. You literally nailed as to why Jason is the number one best horror movie villain out there. Because... Because he has a giant machete which could decapitate you. Why do I sound so gangster when I say yeah? Yeah, I'm so gangster I once took a shit on a shark. Any... Uh, all the time. And he's just a great villain. And his hockey mask is cool, like his design. Guys, guys, guys. I'm pretty sure English was my first language. And he's just amazing overall. So Jason is my number one best horror movie murderer of all time. And after all the stuff my younger self told me as to why Jason's the best, yeah, I'm pretty convinced. Yeah, like how Tarantino is supposed to be proud of me. So that concludes my commentary. Now the reason why I wanted to do this is to not only to take the piss out myself, well, entirely, but also to show you guys how to make a good video and just follow these steps and not do these flaws that I once did back in 2012. Now I could make more of these, but I don't want to rush too much of them out because for one, I don't have that many videos to really do, and also it kind of is like beating up a dead horse if I do too many of them at a time. So if I was going to make this in a completely new series, it'll probably be every month or so. Not to mention I need some good enough material to make another episode. But regardless, it's a fresh new video and I had so much fun doing it, so thank you all for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Take care guys and have a good one.